Do you feel like your look needs updating, but you don't want or even need to revamp your whole closet? If so, then you're in luck because you really only need one piece to update your look. Let's chat. Hi there, if we've never met before, my name is Lori and I welcome you to my closet. If we have met before, then thanks so much for dropping back in and welcome back to my closet. The absolute easiest way to update your look at any point in your life, especially if you're over 40, is to simply acquire a pair of jeans in a current silhouette, a current cut, if you will. Now, as you know, just like I know, all jeans work. But at any point in time, some styles are considered more current than other styles. For instance, skinny jeans have been considered out of style for a while now, but skinny jeans is all I've got. So if you're anything like me, that means you might be stuck on that skinny jean train just like I have been for quite a while. And I've gotten to the point where I just don't feel as confident in skinny jeans as I used to, so it's time for me to update my jeans look. Originally, I was gonna take you shopping with me, but when I went shopping for white t-shirts, it was so hard to do that and so hard to film that because music is loud out in stores. You, I still feel kind of weird talking to the camera with people watching me out in public. So what I decided to do this time, to order a whole bunch of different jeans that I could try on in my own home, show you, and we'll figure out what is a good updated look for me and what just isn't. Let's get to it. Now this first pair of jeans that I'm trying on today is kind of a trouser cut. It's not pleated, but it's a very wide leg cut that's fitted at the waist. And I actually saw these on Shay Whitney on her channel. She raves about these jeans and highly recommends them. So I thought, okay, I'll give it a shot. However, I do not have the same type of body as Shay Whitney at all. She is tall and lean and slender, and I am the opposite of all of those things. And even though I am the opposite of all of those things, I still feel incredibly confident in who I am. So that doesn't bother me that I did order a pair of jeans that was recommended by somebody that was such a completely different body type from me. However, I have to admit, I'm not, I'm not loving them. Like, they fit fine. Now I am gonna wear the same t-shirt and shoes in all of these jeans that I try on today. And I'm not going to do any of my normal styling things that I would normally do to any outfit because I really wanna judge the jeans on their own, right? That's something that's important to me. So that's how I'm going to work through the rest of this video. Also, all of the jeans that I try on today will be linked down below if you wanna check anything out. And as you can see, this is a very wide leg pair. Now I will say it does elongate my leg a bit but I'm a hippie woman. Like I've, I've got some junk in the trunk and I'm not sure how I feel about these. They might be great, but going from skinny jeans to this full on very, for me, wide leg silhouette is a bit jarring to my eye. I don't know what I think of these. I'm a pretty solid size eight and I did order these in size eight and I would say they are very true to size because I feel like they fit comfortably. In fact, one thing that I can really appreciate is that they fit in the waist as well as the bum because my whole life I've struggled to find pants, skirt, anything on the bottom that fits in both the waist and the bum. I've always been a bit of a curvy woman. I was a curvy girl, like when, about 11 years old, I became a curvier girl. And so it's always been a real challenge. So that's something I like about these right off the bat. I do like that they elevate my legs. I don't like that I would have to pretty much only wear them with a pair of heels. I feel like this is way too wide of a silhouette to wear with a flat shoe. I feel like I would look frumpy and dumpy if I wore these with a flat shoe. Because when I take the shoe off and I'm barefoot, that's just not a good look, not loving it. So I would only be able to wear them with a taller shoe. I like taller shoes, but I'm not sure my ankles can handle taller shoes on very much of a regular basis. I don't know, the jury's out. What do you think? Let's try on a different pair. The next jeans I have that I'm gonna show you are by Silver Jeans, and they are the Suki Curvy Fit Mid-Rise Straight Leg Jean. Traditionally, a curvy cut has been a much better fit for me because it just tends to fit my proportions better. And Right off the bat, these jeans feel much more comfortable to me because they aren't so wide. They're not a skinny jean, but they're certainly not a wide leg jean. They're much more of a straight cut. However, even though these are a curvy fit, they still don't fit well in the waist. They feel very, very big in the waist and, you know, are pretty fitted on the bum, which I don't mind. But this gap in the waist right here is gonna be an issue. Traditionally, what I've done to accommodate this is just belt it. I know these jeans can be altered to fit better in the waist, 
but I don't want to have to find a pair of jeans that are close enough and then I alter them. I would love to be able to find a pair of jeans that just fit. I don't know if that's available to me, but you know, I haven't given up on looking for it yet. The reason why a belt alone won't be enough to make this work for me is because these jeans don't have belt loops right here. If it had belt loops right here, I could easily belt the jeans and that would keep the waistband from slipping in and out of the belt. Without those belt loops, these, this waistband is going to, it's gonna, the belt's gonna be here. The jeans are gonna slide out from under the belt here, which means I'm constantly going to have to be tucking this waistband back into the belt that I put on my jeans. And that's just more work than an outfit needs to be. Because if I'm constantly tugging at my clothes, trying to make them comfortable, trying to make the jeans waistband on the inside of my belt versus the outside of my belt, that is not going to suit my classic style very well because one thing that is paramount for me in my classic style is that I'm also comfortable and confident. And if I'm having to adjust my jeans all the time, I am not comfortable and that is not going to make me feel confident. So these silver jeans are not gonna make the cut. They've gotta go, let's try another pair. This next pair of jeans I have to show you are not your daughter's jeans. This is a company that says they are our company of women who make jeans for women. And I think that sounds awesome. So I thought it was time I check them out. These are also a straight leg cut. And as you can see, they are a little bit looser around the ankle than the silver straight leg. I would say they fit true to size. I ordered them the same size eight that I ordered all the other jeans in. I do have a little bit of a waist gap, but nothing that wouldn't be easily handled with a belt. My only thing about these jeans is I'm not quite sure about this color. Now these jeans are okay. I don't have anything really negative or even really positive to say about them. They're just okay. And if I just needed a pair of jeans to put on my body and I had no other options, okay would be good enough. But I'm at a point in my life where I don't want to bring things that are just okay into my wardrobe. Things that are just okay into my closet because I'm not trying to live that life that's just okay anymore. I want that elevated life experience. And jeans that I just feel okay in are not gonna give me that elevated look, that elevated confidence. So with all of that being said, I won't be keeping these jeans, even though they are okay. And that is simply because they are just okay. Let's try on the next pair. This next pair of jeans is by Cut From The Cloth. And this is a brand that I have worn many different styles. Of, well, not many different styles, many different versions of skinny jeans. I've always worn skinny jeans from Cut From The Cloth. So today I tried their boyfriend cut because it is supposed to be a straight leg cut. And it's a brand that I'm really familiar with. I know it's a good quality denim brand. And you, as you can see, they are straight leg fit. I ordered a size eight like I did in all the jeans and that's the size that I know I wear in all cut from the cloth jeans. And at first glance, they look okay from behind, but there is a little bit of a gap here. The problem with these jeans and why they're absolutely not going to work for me is that the rise is too low. It's totally fine in the front. I can work with it in the front. But if you've got much of a rear like I do, you know you cannot sit down without these becoming obscene. And I am absolutely not at a stage in my life where showing my butt cleavage is appropriate. And that's what's gonna happen if I sit down in these jeans. So for that reason alone, they're out. They're out, they've gotta go. I've only got one more pair of jeans left. I hope it's the perfect jeans. Let's check them out. For this last pair of jeans, I went with an OG classic style. And I know, how do you get an updated look from classic jeans? And that's simply because some things never go out of style. I have not tried on a pair of this cut of jeans in probably 35 years. But there was a time in my teens where I wore nothing but Levi's Buttonfly Classic 501 jeans. And these are a more updated look just because they are so classic. They're not that skinny look that is more outdated now. And while I wouldn't say they're my absolutely perfect fit in the waist, there's no gap. Because it has a higher rise, I can easily wear a belt with these and it's not as loose as the silver jeans, so this waistband is not gonna pop out of the belt as I'm moving through my day. And it's just got that classic straight leg look that never goes out of style. Skinny jeans, barrel jeans, anything in between jeans go in and out of style as, you know, the trend winds blow. 
But as someone that just doesn't really follow trends, this classic straight leg style is really appealing to me right now. Plus I get that whole nostalgic vibe because it's kind of fun having a pair of jeans in my 50s that is in the same cut and style that I wore in my early teens. Another thing to note about these Levi's 501s is there is no stretch to them at all. These are 100% cotton jeans. So they probably will loosen up a little bit as I wear them, but they do fit true to size and I'm definitely keeping these. Who would have guessed 40 years later, I'm buying the exact same cut of jeans that I wore 40 years ago. I guess when something's good, it's good. So I'm keeping the Levi's 501s and I'm also keeping the wide leg trouser cut jean that you saw in the very beginning of the video. There's something about that silhouette that just appeals to me, but it's not the perfect everyday jean for me because I do have to wear heels with it. And some days my ankles are just not gonna tolerate heels. But on those days, if I wanna wear jeans, these Levi's 501s are gonna be the perfect everyday jean for me. I am super excited that I found two pair of jeans that fit me, that I feel comfortable and confident in, that I feel aren't as dated as all my skinny jeans are. Jeans have always been something that's hard for me to fit, so this is a great day in my world. But here's the thing to really know and understand about jeans or anything else. While finding a great fitting pair of current style jeans is a great way to give your wardrobe, wardrobe, I don't know why I said it like that. It's a great way to give your wardrobe a more updated look if that's something you're looking for. But remember only if that's something you're looking for because trends don't matter don't matter at all. How you feel about yourself in your clothes is what matters. And if updating your look is something you're interested in, then jeans are a great way to go, but only update for yourself. Whether it's jeans or any other piece, don't update it unless it's something you want to update because it's something you want to see different in your own reflection. And if jeans aren't your thing, don't worry about it. Lots of people don't even like to wear jeans at all. So there's, there's that. Thanks so much for hanging out with me for a few minutes today. It's been great hanging out with you. If you might be interested in hanging out again from time to time, please do consider subscribing using the button down below, but only if you want to. Whether you're subscribed or not, you have an open invitation to come back and hang out anytime you want because I'll be here making videos, probably in my closet or somewhere out in the world, but I will absolutely be here making videos. If you have a few more minutes today, I'd love to see you in this video here, but if not, no worries, I'll catch you in the next one. But I've got a lot of jeans to return. 